Hello, welcome back friends to the microbial world. In my uh, last lecture, I have talked on the differences between bacterial flagella and pili. And today, I gonna tell you one more differences between pili and fimbri. Actually, uh, I got some request from our uh, Facebook group, Microbial World members, you know, the group name. And uh, they say to make a lecture on it. And here I have, uh, uh, I am presenting uh, these uh, videos. So let's start. At the beginning, I would like to uh, start from their uh, definition as usual. Of the definition between these two instances. So, first of all, if I uh, talk about uh, this uh, pili, then it's a short, hollow like uh, non helical structure. It's like a microfibers uh, that comes out from the cell surface of the bacteria. You see, on the other hand, if we consider fibri, then uh, it's a tiny, bristle like fibers. You see these smallest uh, figures that also comes out from the cell surface of the bacteria. As I said in my last lecture, pili is uh, shorter than the flagellum that you see here the uh, their length. But here today I'm saying fimbri is uh, smaller than pili. So that's why we are considering fimbri is a tiny, pili is a smaller and flagellum is the longer one. And uh, if we uh, consider uh, this length, then it is uh, normally 0 0.3 to uh, 20 micrometer in uh, diameter. It, it never exceeds 20 micrometer. On the other hand, if we uh, consider pili, then uh, it's normally uh, around 20 micrometer to more. So it can be actually more than 20, but uh, FIMRI never uh, goes uh, more than 20 micrometer. So this is the actual differences. Now come to their uh, uh, thickness. So if we consider thickness about uh, FIMRI, then uh, it's uh, normally uh, 65 to 135 degree angstrom their diameter, but uh, for PILI, it's uh, really more. It starts from 250 degree angstrom and it actually varies based on the ability. So now what about their composition? I mean, I mean uh, how they are composed of? What type of component is uh, responsible here for their composition? So uh, if we consider about both the structures, fimbri and pili, then they are composed by 100% protein. Fimbri is composed. Fimbri is composed by uh, fimbrin protein. It's a fibrous protein. On the other hand, pili is composed by pilin protein. It's also a fibrous protein. And uh, this two structure is uh, composed by about 160 amino acids and uh, it also can be more but not less than 160 amino acids it's, it's a normal value is 160 amino acids for the composition of both fimbri and pili uh, so if we uh, say about their uh, rigidity then fimbri is less rigid than pili now uh, let's come to their function so if we consider uh, the function of this two structure fimbri and pili then uh, uh, we can say about pili pili is uh, responsible for two uh, main uh, functions the first one is uh, in gene transfer i mean it can uh, transfer uh, genetic material from one cell to another during conjugation and another function is uh, in attachments it also can perform uh, motility. On the other hand, if we uh, uh, talk about fimbri, then uh, it's responsible for cell uh, surface attachments. And uh, this actually is called a specialized cell for attachments. If any uh, bacteria uh, needs to 
uh, adhere with uh, other uh, bacterial surfaces then uh, they take help from uh, from this fimbri and uh, adhere uh, as much as long as uh, they need oh, well uh, now uh, we will uh, look at their motility so motility for uh, fimbri if we consider then uh, it has no motile action i mean it can't move on the other hand uh, if we consider pili then uh, it can uh, move and their motility as i uh, talked in my last lecture their motility is called crawling motility or twisting motility and this function is performed by uh, one type of pili uh, whose name is uh, type 4 pili they mainly perform uh, this uh, motile function so where we can uh, find this kind of a structure uh, if we cons if we say about pili then we uh, only found fi find it in uh, gram negative bacteria but fimbri we can find it in both gram positive and gram negative bacteria it's available for both gram positive and gram negative but this is not available for both it's only available for a gram negative bacteria and uh, pili has uh, has uh, receptors uh, to to attest with uh, some other uh, other uh, kind of uh, cells like viruses they serve as a receptor for certain viruses but uh, if we if we compare uh, pili and fimri then fimri has no receptor for others so they are a receptor less for other host cells and now come to the formations so formation pili is uh, gov is governed by uh, plasmid genes on the other hand formation of fimri is uh, governed by uh, bacterial genes uh, eventually, the uh, representative example of uh, Fimri is a Shigala dysentery. Shigala dysentery. Shigala dysentery. This is the uh, uh, bacteria that shows uh, Fimri, and uh, and it normally attached to the uh, host intestine and produce a kind of toxin that is the responsible for producing uh, the disease diarrhea on the other hand if we consider pili then their representative example is nigeria gonorrhea nigeria gonorrhea gonorrhea and it is uh, it is a uh, the response it is responsible for the disease gonorrhea which uses their pili to attest with the urogenital uh, surfaces of the host and uh, that causes disease so these two bacteria are the uh, the representative example of uh, fimbri and pili and that's all